I made a video a while back explaining why my pickup truck was the most useful tool I had ever owned. I started thinking about what was the second most used piece of equipment on th my little homestead. Obviously, I use a lot of smaller power tools and hand tools a lot, but I'm talking about real equipment here. Trucks, chainsaws, quads, UTVs, log splitters, tractors, things like that. I have settled on a solid tie between my old farm tractor and my dump trailer for number two. But I made a lot of videos on my farm tractor, so I figured it was time to talk about the dump trailer's role on my little homestead and why it's so important. Before we get into the video, please click the like button and let me know what tool or piece of equipment you use the most on and around your homestead or property in the comments below. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please click subscribe for more content like this. There are definitely tools I would purchase before a dump trailer, as it is certainly not a necessity, but in modern homesteading where times are good, it can absolutely save you time, a little money, and a lot of work in the long run. Plus, having and using equipment is definitely fun. Its number one job right now is firewood hauling. Most dump trailers have nice high steel sides and stake pockets to add additional height to your sides using lumber or other material. You can probably haul a lot more wood with them than you can with a typical utility trailer. Some utility trailers also have high sides, maybe even higher than a dump trailer, but then you have the unloading everything by hand issue that comes into play which requires a lot of work and quite a bit of time. We tow our trailer up to the mountains or out to the flats to fill it up with a variety of firewood types. We've hauled probably close to 16 or 17 cords of wood with the trailer since we purchased it. It has definitely become an essential part of our wood cutting, hauling, and storing process. Our dump trailer also serves as a manure hauler. We have family around us who are ranchers. We park the trailer at their barns and they fill it up with manure for us to haul to our garden. Shoveling out three to 4,000 pounds of wet manure would be quite a time consuming project where we are able to dump it out fairly quickly and get it spread on the garden ready to be tilled in. Quick side note, eventually we'd like to get away from garden tillage and try no-till, but our soil is hard and full of rocks as well as being void of nutrients and organic material, so we feel like we have to start with a little tillage. Speaking of organic material, I've also hauled sticks, branches, leaves, grass clippings, and other organic material in to be mulched and used for compost in our bedding packs for our future attempts at a low odor pig pen. We've also hauled out a fair amount of trash with it. When we bought our house, the previous owners left quite a bit of garbage behind on the condition that they left a few materials, some firewood, and a couple of tools behind with it. I've taken about three loads of trash to the landfill of things left behind and other materials I no longer wanted or used. I also cleaned up the 10-acre homestead that we sold that had some garbage and lumber material left behind on that property as well. So it's fantastic for land cleanup projects with both biological material and just regular old trash. Another common use is scrap metal hauling. I have a deal with my local scrap yard where I trade pound for pound, scrap for scrap. I haul in useless scrap and I haul out useful scrap that I can use for my welding projects. In other words, I haul in, you know, a bunch of junk car parts or something and get some I-beams or angle iron or other material that has been scrapped that maybe are not full length pieces and I'm able to haul them out no money exchanged whatsoever. I've also made a few bucks hauling scrap metal too. Not much, but a little to make it worth my time. Most of the time I leave it parked in my backyard and just fill it with metal when I know I don't have any other projects going on for a longer period of time. Continuing down the list, I have also hauled a lot of fill dirt and several loads of gravel with it. At my previous 10 acre property, I put in a culvert in the ditch on the side of the road where I was going to start the driveway to where we plan to put our future house. I placed and spread a couple dozen yards of fill dirt. On my current home property, I have hauled in about five yards of gravel for a retaining wall and flooring material for my little lean-to barn addition on my shed. Other materials it has hauled in large quantities of is railroad ties. Railroad ties have so many uses on a homestead. Right now, the main purpose for them is stairs and a retaining wall. They'll also be used heavily for fence posts for my two and a half acre plot of land, which will be used for food production of some kind, as well as any plot of land I pick up in the future too. One use I haven't actually used it for would be hauling equipment. If you're fortunate enough to be able to afford a small skid steer or a mini excavator, 
for your hobby farm or homestead, or just have a large enough truck to haul a large dump trailer with larger equipment, you can haul all kinds of large gas and diesel power tools around with it. I bought my 8N tractor and it doesn't really fit in the trailer. The wheelbase is a little too wide. I would really like to end up with a mini excavator someday and maybe a Kubota BX25 some compact utility tractor that will pair well with the dump trailer compared to the 8N. Lastly, it would be my eventual goal to not have to purchase feed for my animals and have enough land close by to sustain them naturally on pasture, but that requires large amounts of land in my area due to lack of precipitation. And I don't know how soon I'll be able to obtain that much land, but when I get around to purchasing larger farm animals, specifically beef, I could easily haul one or two one-ton bales of bulk hay whether round or square, and then dump them out the back of the trailer without having to have a loader or forklift capable of lifting them out of the back of a trailer. Let me know in the comments below if you can think of or know of anything that people regularly use their dump trailers for on homesteads and hobby farms and even larger farms as well. All in all, a dump trailer absolutely is one of the most highly used pieces of equipment on our homestead today. They can be had for under about $10,000 brand new. I picked up mine for about eight in 2020. Used trailers are typically not far in price from new trailers in my research. And they can also be purchased even smaller than the five by 10 trailer that I purchased or even bigger as well. They are so versatile and I believe that if you could only own one trailer for your homestead or hobby farm, it probably should be a dump trailer. I suppose unless you move a lot of livestock, then a livestock trailer might serve you more. But for the average small homesteader, I imagine a dump trailer will serve you well. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a comment below letting me know what piece of equipment or tool you use most on your homesteader property, as well as whether or not you think I missed something on my list of uses for a dump trailer on a homestead or property. And lastly, click subscribe to get more tool and homesteading related content like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.